Hey everyone, it's Sarah and today I am back with another subscriber requested video. So I was recently asked by somebody to talk about perfume oils. It was somebody that is just getting into perfume and, and this person really wanted to start with oils and I can definitely deliver. I've got so many oils and so many good recommendations for places to start. Uh, one that I just wanna mention right before we get into it is a place called Oil Perfumery. I have not personally ordered anything from the brand yet, but I've had so many people tell me that Oil Perfumery perfumes are so good. Um, they make, like, I've heard that they make amazing clone oils and that they're just really good quality, that they're really affordable. One of these days I'm gonna get around to doing an order um, and I will definitely do a video on Oil Perfumery. I just haven't, I just haven't gotten around to it yet, but, uh, with that being said, yeah, I just wanted to mention that one. I don't have anything from the brand, but I've heard really, really good things. Um, but yeah, with that being said, I'm going to jump right in because I have so many oils here. I have got expensive. I've got indie. I have got really inexpensive. Um, I've just got a huge collection of oils. And it's funny, I didn't realize just how many I had until I started pulling for this video. So, so I'm going to start out with uh, some, you can find these on Amazon. They used to be less expensive. Um, the prices fluctuate with these though. So I think if you wait, maybe you will be able to get them less expensive. I'm not, they used to be, I think $18 on Amazon, I'm not sure how what how much they are right now. These are fragrance oils from our moth. This one here is called Tag Her Pour Femme. Tag Her is known for smelling like Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue, but to me, it's sweeter and creamier and it's amazing. It's just amazing. So yeah, anytime, my, none of my Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue flankers last very long on my skin. And so anytime I'm gonna wear a Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue, I put this oil on first and uh, the oil will far outlast the perfume, but I love to layer them because once my Dolce & Gabbana perfume wears off, then the Tag Her oil is still going strong and I love it. It's just beautiful. These are huge too. These are 20 mil <laughs> bottles of oil. So this is literally going to last you your entire life. I mean, they are, they're huge. I love the, this is, it's like a glass stick. So they're, they're just amazing. They are amazing oils. Um, and they are beasts. They last absolutely forever and I'm so happy to have them in my collection. So I've got this one here, which is Tag Her, and then this one is a Jenny Glow oil, and this is Jenny Glow Peony, and oh my gosh, this is a beautiful, sweet, clean floral. It's amazing. This one I, I wear on its own because it just smells so good. I get compliments every time I wear this one too. People love the way this smells. It's just this beautiful, sweet, clean floral. So anyways, those are our moth oils. Uh, that's a Jenny Glow and an R moth. Those are amazing. You should be able to find them on um, Amazon if I remember correctly. Next, I've got some expensive ones. These are, these are pretty pricey and they're pretty tiny, but these things are powerhouses. You literally only have to put like one dot of oil on, like one dot on each side of your neck or on your wrists and you're gonna smell like these for, like literally you could smell like them for days if you didn't wash them off. Um, they're absolute beasts. These are Nazamato oils. I picked up this little set from Lucky Scent at some point. I've got China White, which Nazamato, they're very unique niche fragrances. China White is, it's it sounds like it would smell really like clean, but this is like, it is kind of clean, but at the same time, time it's kind of dark and spicy smelling too. They're amazing. I love these oils. They last forever. So that one is China White. They're only four mil, but these will last me the rest of my life because you literally need almost none. They're so potent. This one is called Nudiflorum. This one, this one is like a, I don't know, this one's like an earthy, kind of like an earthy musky fragrance. It's beautiful. And then I've got Narcotic V, which is a, 
beautiful, sweet bubblegum bubble gummy tuberose fragrance, but with a green quality to it. It's stunning. It's like literally the only tuberose I need in my life. I it's it's amazing. Um, so yeah, those are great oils. I don't know if you can still find those, but if you can and you're interested in them, I definitely recommend them. They're amazing. Okay, another house that I absolutely love for their oils, I've got a ton of them here, is Solstice Scents. So Solstice Scents makes amazing fragrances and amazing oils. Um, some of them last better than others, but they all end up smelling somehow nostalgic to me. Um, they've, they've always got an amazing fall lineup. They're one of my favorite indie houses that make oils. Um, this one here is called, is, is called Gibbon's Mischief Night. I've got uh, Foxcroft Fairgrounds. Oh, gosh. A lot of these are fall scents because I'm always drawn to them in the fall. We've got Conjure. Uh, Maplewood Inn, White Fox, which was just sent over to me, and Smokewood Apiary, which is one of my favorites. It's like a, <sighs> Smokewood Apiary is like a very slightly smoky, like honey fragrance. It's amazing. They're so good. Another one that I do want to mention that I didn't pull anything from is the House of Gloy. They make amazing oils and lotions that match. And when you layer the lotion, the perfume over the lotion, they are absolute monsters. They will last you 12 hours easily. I did just wear one of my House of Glory fragrances this past week. You'll see it in this upcoming What I Wore Last Week video. That thing got me through the entire day and it was so incredible. So that's another house, indie house. Um, that I didn't pull anything from, but that I definitely want to mention. It's called the House of Gloy. They make amazing oils. Okay, another indie house that we have is this one here called Alpha Musk. So these were all just sent over to me. Um, I have worn all of them. I love all of them. They're, they're amazing. This one is called Blue Cotton Candy. Uh, we've got Cotton Pop, which is another kind of sweet cotton candy type scent. And we've also got Take My Vice Insanity. And this is the only one I haven't worn yet. Mm, but they're, they're really cool. These are, um, they're just, an, it's another fun indie house that makes really nice oils. Okay, this next one is, this is another, I love looking at this website. Uh, for oils. So this is from a company called Sugarworks Beauty Lab. So they make um, their own kind of scents and they also do clone scents. So yeah, I've got this one here. It's called Sugar Me Marshmallow and it is. it smells like a bag of marshmallows. It's amazing. I love using this to layer. I've also got this one called Chai Creme Anglaise which is a beautiful, creamy, spicy chai, which I'm gonna leave this one out because I need to try layering my uh, Suki essence over this one. And then I've also got this one called Cotton Candy Smoothie. I think this one was sent over to me. This is like a sweet, tart cotton candy scent. It reminds me of sweet tarts and cotton candy like mixed together. They're so yummy, they're just fun easy breezy, fun to just have and layer scents. And they're really, really affordable. So, and I also had a Prada Candy Kiss dupe that they did. Um, they just make some really fun oils. So yeah, that is Sugarworks Beauty Lab. I couldn't do an oil video without talking about uh, Lake and Sky. They make all of their fragrances in an oil version and the oil versions last forever. They're amazing. Um, I love them. If you're looking for like a perfumey, like a high quality perfume oil, these are definitely for you. Ugh, they're amazing, amazing high quality perfume oils. So those are Lake and Sky. Next, we have some really inexpensive ones. These are great. These are from Al Rahab. There is a website called Triple, I think it's called Triple Traders. You can get Al Rahab oils on that website for like $3, like 2 dollars 
three dollars um and al rahab oils are really really nice you can also find them on ebay probably amazon um this one here is called soft and uh, this is like a kind of sweet creamy powdery floral al rahab oils last really long too um we've got golden sand this one i need to go ahead and pass along because it smells exactly exactly like swiss arabian casablanca exactly like caramel apples oh it's so good so anyways that one is called golden sand if you're looking for a an alternative to swiss arabian casablanca this smells exactly like it i've also got choco musk i've got two backups of this thank goodness somebody sent them to me because i wear this all the time this one is already halfway gone it's a beautiful, creamy vanilla and chocolate scent. I love it. And then we've got this one here called So Sweet, which this is my least favorite one. This is kind of, I don't know, it's kind of clean and powdery smelling, but really, really synthetic. I wouldn't recommend this one, but the other ones I would absolutely recommend. And I would absolutely recommend Al Rahab oils just in general. They're very, very affordable and they're really, really nice most of the time. Okay, next we have got uh, Kumba Made. So I've got a ton of Kumba Made oils. I love them so much. We've got Water Lily. I've got Persian Garden, which was sent over to me. Persian Star, which was also sent over to me. Zen Rain. I've got Lavender Lace, which is a beautiful lavender oil. I've got Vanilla Musk, which I love. I've got Sweet Rain. This is a beautiful kind of hippie patchouli, but fresh. Yeah, but it's got some fresh notes to it. It's beautiful. And I've also got Vanilla Bean, and I love every single one of these oils. Oh, they are all amazing. I love Kumba Made oils. Let's see if I can... So the smaller bottles like these are really, really affordable. Um, yeah, they're super affordable. I think they're like, I can't remember. I will of course have everything linked below. Or I'll have all the websites down below, uh, linked down below for you. But yeah, I've got a ton of Kumba Made oils. I love them. They are some of my favorites. Uh, okay, these next ones, these, I was turned on to these by somebody else. These actually, they were recommended to me. They actually carry these or this house or this brand on Ulta now, which is great. So this is a brand called Nemat, and I've heard that they also carry this at Whole Foods. Um, I've got this one here called Musk Amber, which is a beautiful, exactly what it sounds like, musky amber. It's dark, it's gorgeous, it's great for layering other amber fragrances over. And then I've also got this one which I adore. This is called Vanilla Musk. And somebody recommended this one to me and they said that it, when it dries down, it smells a lot like Tohoda Indult and it really, really does. Ugh, it really smells like Tohoda for sure. So if you're looking for like a really good alternative, like inexpensive alternative to Tohoda Indult, it doesn't smell exactly like it, but it is very, very close, and it is definitely worth, I think this little guy was like, I don't know, $15 or something. So anyways, those are knee matte oils, and they are great. I love them. Um, some other oils that you can find, you should still be able to find these on FragranceNet, are the Elizabeth and James oils. So I picked these up because when they started discon when they when I heard that all of the Elizabeth and James fragrances were being discontinued, I went ahead and picked up these oils to layer over. Um, this one here is the Nirvana White, which I love. It's a beautiful, mm, beautiful, clean, slightly sweet floral. And then I've also got black, which this is a really nice sandalwood fragrance. Yes, really, really beautiful. Um, the oils themselves don't last that long on, well, they don't last terribly long on me, but when layered under perfume, they definitely help to prolong the wear of the perfume. So anyways, those are really, really inexpensive. I think I found them for like in the $5 range on uh, FragranceNet, so... Yeah, they're really, they're super nice perfume oils. Okay, these next ones are some of my favorites. I have tested most fragrances from this house. These were my two favorites. 
but I love so many of them. Um, these are from the Sage Lifestyle. I've got Onyx here and I've also got uh, Moonstone. Onyx is a beautiful, warm, dark coconut fragrance. It's like an ambery coconut. It is beautiful. And these are super high quality too. Um, these You can pick these up at Lucky Scent or on the Sage Lifestyle website. I prefer the Sage Lifestyle website for these just because um, you can get better prices on samples and you've got access to more samples. Ugh, and this is a beautiful gardenia scent. Oh my gosh, Moonstone is amazing. It's fresh. It smells exactly like if you stuck your nose in a like a fresh gardenia bush. That's what it smells like. These are amazing high quality oils. They're beasts. They last forever. And yeah, the they're amazing. So those are oils from the Sage Lifestyle. Next are some Outremer oils. I found these on smallflower.com. Again, I will link that website down below for you. But these are oils from Outremer. These are $9.50. They're 12 mil bottles of oil, so they're gonna last a very, very long time. Um, I've got Vani here, which, which smells exactly like the Outremer Vani perfume, which is a beast on me anyways, but I love just layering things. So I have the oil to layer over it, or to layer under it. I've also got Palm. This is an apple scented oil, and it's a beautiful, fresh, crisp, apple scent. Really gorgeous. And then I've also got this one here called Mirror Musk, which is, yes, it's a beautiful, sweet, clean. I wouldn't even call it musk. It's more of like a sweet, I don't know, like a sweet, warm skin scent. It's beautiful. These are great oils. They, they sink right into the skin too. They're amazing. So for $9.50, that's a huge bottle of oil. And they last a really long time on the skin too. So anyways, those are oils from Outremer. They're amazing. Okay, getting close to the end here. I've got two more houses to talk about or two more brands to talk about. So I've got a bunch of oils from this house or this oil company here called Sweet Essentials. I love Sweet Essentials because these are clean. Um, most all of they're made with organic oils. So the only thing in these that is not organic is the fragrance. Um, I've got four oils here. Now I was turned on to these because somebody sent a whole bunch of these over to me and then I got on and then I ordered some as well. I've got this one here called Island Vibes, which I love. It's got banana in it. Oh my gosh, it smells like banana daiquiri or something. It's amazing. Um, I've got this one here called Sun Tanning Lotion. I've got even more of these over there. The ones that were sent to me are sitting on my desk over there. Um, this is beautiful. It smells like old school suntan lotion from the 80s. I've got this one here. I really wanted to smell blue sugar for men. So this is a blue sugar for men type. So it's just a clone. And it's really nice. Um, I've also got this one here called Brown Sugar beautiful sweet layering scent and then I've got a bunch of vanillas I've got a soft vanilla a fresh vanilla as well as a jasmine vanilla um, I just love this and then this one was sent over to me from my beautiful friend she sent this to me this is the it's an Irish spring type perfume oil and this one is amazing for those days that you just don't want to you don't want to wear perfume but you want to smell like your bar soap all day and that's what this is. I love this. I spray it all over and I smell like Irish Spring and it's amazing. So yeah, you can get them in different sizes. She had the big, huge one sent to me. These are like the perfume uh, roller balls. But yeah, great, great oil company. Again, it's called Sweet Essentials. And then last but not least is Sucre Bay. They are another one of my very favorite indie houses. Um, I've got, this is my favorite here. This is called Strangeling. It's a gorgeous cognac and vanilla fragrance. This is the booziest fragrance in my collection by far. And it reminds me of fall. This one reminds me of my favorite time of year, which is fall. I love it. It's amazing. And then I've also got another one here called Pear Tree. I've got tons of oils from Sucre Bay. I just pulled a couple, um, Oh my gosh, and this is 
This is an amazing, fresh, slightly sweet pear scent. They're so good. Yeah, and you can get them in little drams. You can get them in even smaller drams to sample them. You can get them in roller balls. You can get them in spray form. They just make amazing fragrances and mostly just amazing oils. I love them so much. So yeah, those are Sucre Bay. I've got so many from Sucre Bay and that house just makes me super, super happy. So anyways, guys, I hope that that one was helpful. I pulled a ton of oils that I love. These are some of my favorite oil companies. I know that you guys have a lot of oil companies that you love to buy from too which you can definitely leave in the comments down below. Um, I do hope that you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.